on this edition of the AudioCat channel. What up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Cruz, they can out the Audio Cat. We want to welcome you to the Audio Cat channel today, man. Always thank you guys for the support, the love that you guys give us, man. Bring you some great car content, man. We got something very, we've got a couple very big projects coming in. I'm a vlogger and bring them out to y'all, man. But one of them that we're working on today, man, it's going to be a beautiful Dodge Charger. We'll be doing Lamborghini doors, but not on the front, y'all. We'll be doing them on the back. The front one's already done. We're going to be doing the back doors now on this for a great customer from uh, West Texas. Uh, he brought the car, so I'm going to introduce you to the car here today. It's a beautiful Dodge Charger, y'all. And y'all can see that it has been completely done. It actually went to Jack Fab, got the performance stuff done, got the wells on it. Not a car to be playing around with, man. But the front doors are Lambo'd out, the back doors are not. So we're going to actually get this car with my boy Josh here and get this car situated to be able to get the Lambo doors on the back doors. And you can see right now, there is no vertical door going in this car right now. So we're gonna begin the process of getting this done with my guy, Josh, and get this situated and get this built up for this customer, man. It's a big project in front of us, but you know what? This is the audio zone, man. This is what we do. We get your cars and make them reality, man. So we're about to start getting this built going, show you guys what we're doing. Hopefully um, get this done soon. Right here, man, Josh in the building, man. Low class Josh on Instagram. That's what it's called, right? Or you no. changed the name yet? Cruel One. Huh? Cruel One. Cruel, C R U L L One. You know, I like that one, man, but you know what? You ain't that cruel, man. You're a big old teddy bear reality, man. It's your last name. It's your last <laughs> name, but let me show you what we're doing here, man. So, look what the hinge kit looks like from factory. They get that for the air. We got these factory uh, hinges on this car, which I could probably get the light in and show you guys exactly. That's the top hinge. That's the bottom hinge that's on this vehicle. And now we're gonna start getting the kit installed, which is actually here, and start getting this to do its job. So y'all might be questioning, actually, this is the one for this side. So the way that it works, man, it has a limiter, so you can open the door normal when you wanna use the door normal, but when you wanna go Lambo style, it'll actually raise the door up. So right now to get this process going, the first thing we did is we're gonna get all the alignment marks to get everything, make sure we get the alignment of the door back where it's at. We're gonna remove the top bolts, get the new bracket installed. We're gonna have to make our own uh, bolt hole for this one here. When we get in, show me in here, Josh, I got no light. But we're gonna get this bracket installed here. We're gonna be removing all these brackets, the top and the bottom one. We're gonna get this in place here where we can actually get this door um, to the top bolt, make our own bolt, remove the door from the car, do the uh, threading on it, put the bottom bracket on it in the bottom, which is gonna be this one here, which can allow for the shock mount. And once we get that done, then we'll be able to get this door to be Lamboing up. But to start the process, let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna start doing some uh, markings on this car so we can have a, a, a setup of exactly all the lines that are here. So with the tape that we have, uh, we're gonna start doing some marks and uh, use get this all situated. So just uh, stay tuned if we get this rolling, y'all. So what we're gonna do, man, is I'm gonna start looking at alignment. So I got this tape here to align with the door there. But you can see that the alignment of this door is off before we even did it. You can see that this is not aligning. You can actually tell by the angle, because this is not aligning. So I'm gonna try to get that fixed while I'm doing it. it Look like it's kind of bent in or something, but this is kind of what's going on on this one. I'm gonna get this door removed and start getting this tied in. Stay tuned. Doing the top. All right, y'all, so now you understand what's going on. We put these tapes going across here. As you can see, we're marking. So what it's gonna allow us to do is that once we just hinge the car, we're gonna actually cut this tape across. But once we unhinge this car, once all these tabs are back to normal, that we have installed the car, we know that we have a perfect alignment of the door of exactly what it was. So Josh is gonna go to cut that. But what this is gonna allow us to do, when we get the car back together again, we have to line all these lines. And once all those lines are in, we will be able to have a perfect alignment of what the car was aligned at before. So Josh is cutting that tape there. Cutting that tape there. And now you understand what I'm saying. But when we get it back together again, those lines should all come back to being perfect again. Once we have that, we have an alignment. So that'll take care of all the moving of the doors and everything that we need to get that done. But that's it, all the tapes are in there. So now, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna start the removal of these panels. I'm leaving the door closed so that latch in the back still holds the door in position when I'm doing all this. But I'm gonna start removing all these panels. So I'm gonna start by taking off the top one first and getting that one situated. So it's gonna be probably the shorter one. But it could be a 13 here and a 13 here because we're gonna remove this to install the new bracket, uh, get the marks that we need to do to get installed. Stay tuned. 
I'm gonna just blow it. Yep, that's the spec. So now we're gonna get the back one here off. So we're gonna take this back, the top factory bracket. I'm gonna need the bottom one in to be able to get it to stay in position and what we need. Okay, so now that we have the bolts removed here and the bolts removed here, we're gonna start getting this bracket out the way. This is the factory bracket. We'll just bash it out. Now we have a bare surface to work on here. Now we're going to get the new bracket, install it, and get it going. So now that we got this here apart, we're going to get these this bracket apart. We're going to remove this plastic realm here to be able to get to the thing, disconnect that from the car, take off this bracket, and put this door on the um, hoist that we have to be able to get this um, situated and take this bolt off. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. To get this off, you got a pick tool. You press on the top, bring that one out. Press on the bottom, right in the middle. That's out. But now once we got this here removed, we get the plug, disconnect it here. And, and now we'll take off the bottom bolts and remove the door from the car. So now we're gonna remove these here real quick. That's off there. What's the shorter one, Josh? Get these bolts off, remove this door, and we'll be having victory very soon. So now I'll take off this one here. I'll grab the door, Jay. Take off this bracket. And now, we're gonna grab the door off, take it off, and put it on the mount. Stay tuned. Now this bottom bolt, we have to remove it, so I'm going to get the grinder. Now once you got it there, you kind of have to start grinding it down to make sure it's a smooth area, but the bracket doesn't have no elevation. Now that we got that done, what we're going to do now is we're going to install the top bracket and start putting the door back together again and start doing what we have to do to all the other stuff. Stay tuned. Ah, y'all well, y'all away. We got the door situated here again. I already did the markings here. Let me get that light so I can show them a little more what I'm doing. But I got also in here, y'all, I got the uh, center mark. You see that center mark right there in that hole? I centered that hole. Bracket's already in there now. I can get into doing the uh, removal of the door and get it going uh, with the new taper that we have to do, new treading and stuff, so stay tuned. Now we got the hole that I just made to be able to use the new bracket, and now I have to dye it in, which y'all probably don't know what that means, but I gotta basically give it threads so we can use the bolts and get it in. So it's not gonna be an easy task, but nothing is impossible. So now we're gonna remove this. And now comes all the manual labor, y'all. There's certain things you can't do otherwise. Yes, sir. Real up in the building. Can't do a check through, man, real quick, man. But uh, you know what? Actually, now you got it. This was actually missing on the build because it wasn't original hardened, but it's done. So now real is back to normal 100%. Back in the game, back in the game.
in the game, back in the game. But you know, that's what it is. Back to this one though, we just finished doing the threading. So this is what it looks like, y'all. Look at the tool that you need. Don't, don't be nervous, it's all good. We got the two bolts installed there. So now we're gonna go put the door back on. So now we got the back door back into position. We lined up all the tape and everything's good. I got the bracket over here installed, as you can see over here. So once you got the door back in and you hinge it, you're gonna get to leave the bottom bracket on, get the top one adjusted to where you want it to be exact. Once we got that done, we're ready to do the rest of the door. Now the door will be able to do what it needs to do. So I'm gonna get now the bottom shock mount, get this installed, start doing the alignment, and we'll be done with this in very short in this back door. So stay tuned, I'm gonna go to remove the bottom bracket now, install the shock mount, and get it going, stay tuned. All right, y'all, so we got top mounted brackets, bottom mounted brackets, shock absorbers on, installed. Wires are good. In fact, Josh, open up this door. Pull it out, lift it up. Shocks are in there. Let me get the lights up and show everybody. The boot looks original. Nothing looks modified. Close, close the door down. Bring it down and stops. Push it in. Lambo door, done. So now my finale is gonna be, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up uh, a little bit of paint here because obviously if you could look, in fact, I'll show you again with the thing here. But you can see when you do this, you're gonna lose some, some paint from the OEM marks. And I don't wanna have the customer car like that, so I'm gonna clean up the area, spray some gloss black, and uh, get this car ready to deliver to Barry. The people we did here to the side, this car will be signed, sealed, and delivered very shortly. Stay tuned. Yeah, one thing I do wanna show you, the tape alignment that we did is all perfect, man. So you get the door, slide it open, come up with your door, and then bring it down when you want, and just close it. Perfect Lambo door, y'all. Josh, you the man. Gordo, you whack. Audio cat, you already know we're doing our best, y'all. <laughs> Cruise crew, we're here at the shop, man. We're at the finale with a beautiful, beautiful build. Shout out to Barry for allowing us to touch his car. Amazing car. Man, I, I can really tell you there's a lot of them out there, man, but this one is actually very different, man. But you know what? Hold on, let's let this Corvette come out the way. That was another car, another project. Stay tuned, we got something crazy coming for that C8. Um, I ain't gonna tell you nothing else, but it's gonna be ridiculous. And yes, we're working on that C8 now, but I'm very proud of it. Let me help him get this out real quick. On the 4G, baby. C8. I don't blame him for being careful. Make sure he puts that in, he don't scratch that car up. You know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing. But anyway, y'all, uh, back to the field, Mr. Barry, we got your car. Signed, sealed, ready to be delivered. You live far away, but this is going to be getting uh, traded out to you. But this is a reveal of your car. So take a look at what's going on. Something that's totally different from everybody else. Man, you have a Dodge Charger. Of course, it's wide body. But we got the Lambo doors in the front and the Lambo doors in the back, y'all. So, this thing is double Like, boom. Boom. You get somewhere, huh? And the door opens. Look, it opens normal, y'all. You see that the door? You open the door normal. So you just close the door, open the door normal, and then whenever he wants to be stunning, he can just go and throw the doors up. You know what I'm saying? So this car is an amazing color, amazing build. Uh, shout out to Barry, man. Shout out to the team here at Audio Zone who got this done. Barry, we're ready to get your car shipped out to you, man. You probably didn't see this video before your car comes out, but I want to tell you thank you for the opportunity of this build, man. I uh, hope to see you back for some more stuff. I see a lot of ideas we want to do, and we're definitely going to get it going, man. So shout out to the car.